it was really like a big eye opener that like, you know, you, if you try and grow too quick, you, you can, you will fall on your bum, should we call it. You've got 65 units, which is phenomenal. What was your background before you actually got into the world of SA and property? I was working at a family computer shop selling, you know, fixing computers. When was the, the coaching company for um, people started? What we've done really well was we, we systemized immediately as we started the business and we spent a lot of time invested in sort of like structure and so it was, it was smoother. Well, what was been your biggest takeaway in these last two years from you being there with, with Matt uh, getting your first key from the estate agent to, to now where you've got let's say 65 units which is which is intense example number one is it's all built on relationships i am how we are now with everybody that i meet whether it's with our cleaning team whether it's with our maintenance team agents you know whoever it might be my clients like i'm the same with every person um my goal is to reinforce our relationships and always be improving them right because business is built off the back of that what has been the favorite failure that you've done and, and how did you learn from it and what did you do to correct it to make sure that it never happened again? I would say my favorite failure is not related to this business. It was related to the office products business. Um, I, learned, I learned the value and the importance of systems in a team. We started off getting stuck in, um, doing it in a lot of the do ourselves. Then we built a team that took a lot of that pressure away from us. Then we had systems and then we built a bigger team. And now we're in a position where like the team control like ninety five percent of what goes on, right? Yeah. So it could, is it passive still? No, it's not passive. The team still needs to be managed. You still got to motivate. You still got to inspire. You still got to educate. You still got to communicate. Mm -hmm.